Before we get into this video, don't forget to enter my 10K sub giveaway because the prize is this very Viltrox 13 millimeter lens I'm reviewing today. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel and hit all notifications, like one of my videos, and leave the comment, pick me Pete with a camera emoji. You're now entered to win this lens when I hit 10K subs. Check out the linked vid in the description below for all the details. The Viltrox 13mm f1.4 lens has a full frame equivalent of 19.5mm, which means that this is considered a super wide angle lens. And wide angle lenses are often pigeonholed by photographers who say that they are only good for certain applications like group portraits, landscapes, or architecture. But this lens has reminded me that a fast, well-made, and sharp wide angle lens can do so much more than we might think it can. And seeing as how I'm a portrait photographer through and through, I knew that I wanted to capture some faces with the 13 millimeter, but I was a bit apprehensive to do so at first because we're not supposed to do that with a wide angle lens or whatever. However, after using the 13 millimeter for some street portraits, I can tell you that I'm now a believer in this lens for portrait photography or basically anything else you can throw at it. For a super wide angle lens, the 13 millimeter is quite compact. It has a metal mount, a metal lens hood, which fits the fit and finish of the lens nicely, and it feels like a much more expensive Fuji lens. The manual focus ring is large and easy to use, and those of you who love manual focusing will love how smooth and accurate it is without any of that jerky electronic feeling you sometimes get with lenses. The aperture ring is large and has a very satisfying click through each stop without feeling too stiff. As with the 75mm that I reviewed recently, the 13mm impressed me by how well it's made and more importantly how well it handles. The build quality and handling are both excellent. Although the lens is not what I would consider compact, it's certainly not large and it felt good on both the X-T5 and the X-H2 with a nice balance while shooting even with one hand, which I did for some of the images you're going to see in this review. The 13mm has an STM motor and I found the autofocus to be on par with Fuji's linear motor lenses. I didn't notice any real difference in the speed and accuracy of the AF of the 13mm when I compared it with my 16-55-28, which I use regularly. The lens focus is fast and it's accurate and it's silent too. Using the Viltrox 13mm on the X-T5 and the X-H2 was really a blast and there was really only one time where the AF struggled and that was when shooting some tree leaves with the sun directly behind them while the AF was in tracking mode. Changing it to single point solved the issue immediately and it locked on and worked perfectly without hesitation. Now the best part about the autofocus is that I barely gave it a second thought while I was shooting because the camera just did its job and the lens just did its job and focused on my subjects right away. I had a serendipitous experience with this lens and I want to tell you about it. LoomCube recently sent me a tube light mini which I reviewed last week and one of the main things that I wanted to do was use it for some nighttime street portraits. Well the chance arrived to do so and since I was in the middle of reviewing the 13mm I decided to leave the 16 to 55 at home and I forced myself to use the 13 millimeter for a portrait shoot. Admittedly, I was a bit nervous to use a super wide angle lens for portraits at first, especially since I planned to hold the tube light with one hand and the camera with the other, which is exactly what I did. I was afraid of distorting faces, of course, but I also thought that I would not be able to angle the light high enough so that it wouldn't appear in my photos since the lens is so wide. Well, I have to tell you that I'm so glad things worked out the way they did because not only did the 13 millimeter work for my portrait shoot but I created some of my favorite portraits so far and all I can do is chalk it up to serendipity. I brought the X-H2, the Viltrox 13 millimeter and the LumCube light to one of my favorite New York spots and I asked a bunch of musicians there if I could take their portrait in between sets. 
And as I said, the Viltrox proved not only to be a great portrait lens, but just a great lens, period. The images are super sharp, detailed with vibrant colors and minimal distortion for such a wide field of view. The subjects pop from the background and the lens even has very pleasing bokeh. Now, if you follow my channel, you already know that I love to shoot wide open and I was not disappointed at all with the sharpness and the detail of this lens at f1.4. These portraits have made a believer out of me, and I'm really glad that I had this particular lens for this particular shoot. In addition to taking portraits outside of the bar, I also documented the music inside. Once again, I was really happy with the results, and the fast f1.4 aperture made shooting in a dark room a fairly easy task. I also tried the 13 millimeter for flower photos. And here again, I was really impressed by the results, not just because of the quality, but also because the lens has an excellent close focus ability. Finally, I took some family photos on Mother's Day weekend and the straight out of camera JPEGs were great without having to do any editing, which I always hate to do when I'm taking family photos because I take so many of them. And if I spent a ton of time editing each one, I would have no time to edit work for clients. After reviewing the Viltrox 75 millimeter a few weeks ago, I knew that I wanted to try another Viltrox lens because that one was so very impressive. And like the 75 millimeter, the 13 millimeter has not disappointed me. It looks, feels, and operates like a much more expensive lens. And there was no sacrifice that I could find in the performance or quality against a more expensive native lens. Whether shooting portraits, flowers, concerts, or family photos, the lens provided results that really were excellent and offered a wonderful user experience too. This is why I now dub the 13 millimeter the versatile Viltrox. To me, this super wide angle lens can do so much and it's really been fun to use it. And I know that whoever wins it in my giveaway is going to be extremely happy with it. So to sum up, if you're considering a wide angle lens for your Fuji camera, I think this should most certainly be on your short list of contenders. And I'm pretty confident you're gonna be happy with the Viltrox 13 millimeter F1.4 if you decide to pick it up. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thanks as always for watching. And if you like my videos, please subscribe, like, comment and share it with a friend. Check out my links in the description below. And if you're looking to purchase a Viltrox 13 millimeter or any other photo gear, I would greatly appreciate if you visit my good friends at b &H Photo by clicking on my gear page in the description below. Here's wishing you a great day, my friends. Go out and take some awesome pictures and I will see you in the next one. Peace.